What's up guys welcome to my channel and in today's video we'll talk about the iPhone 11 and how it is going for me on iOS 14.2 developer beta 3. So without wasting any more time let's get right into this video shall we. So it's been almost a day that Apple has announced this firmware and on my iPhone 11 this firmware is going really good and in terms of bugs features yeah features I have not discovered any features till now but I will be reporting on my follow up video so you can subscribe and turn notification if you haven't already so let's talk about the numbers what i will give it around out of 10 in terms of performance i would give it a solid 9.5 out of 10 now talking about the stability i would give it around 9 uh, out of 10 yeah uh, 9 and now 9 out of 10 is for everything i'm not kidding for performance for uh, stability for uh, real world performance everything is 9 out of 10 and uh, performance is 9.5 out of 10 now talking about the most awaited feature which is the apple raw feature Will Apple bring this feature to iPhone 11 and uh, devices uh, supporting that feature of course I think it will be iPhone 10 and above uh, and of course I, I may be wrong but what I think is it will be iPhone 10 and above and I am still waiting for Apple to release the raw feature for all iPhones because of course it does not require te uh, technically it does not require any separate function or any separate separate hardware in order to use that function because you what you have to do is just you have to provide a raw photo and you have to provide a post process photo so i don't know why apple haven't done this yet but i think it they will make this feature exclusive for iphone 12 users for some time and we may see the ios 14.5 bringing the raw feature to iphone 11 10r iphone 10 iphone 10s so yeah there are still there is still chance for for uh, users below iphone 12 but of course it is still not confirmed yet but i will be updating you guys uh, almost daily on through my videos so the build number includes a uh, a at the end which all which always indicates that we are almost at the release so we may see uh, a beta 4 then a gold master or as i said in my previous video you can watch that link is in the i card uh, I, i'm not not really sure about gold master and beta 4 i think apple will release the gold master first then they will release the official version to public but some people are predicting that we will see the beta 4 so yeah I, I will leave it here so that's it for today's video wait 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 before ending the video let me give my final verdict do you update your iphone 11 to this firmware or not so you know what what do i think you should wait for the gold master if you are already on beta 1 or 2 you should wait for the gold master then update it to the gold master because gold master is the place to be for a developer and uh, if you are still waiting for the official release or and uh, you are on ios 14.2 i would say wait for some time uh, because uh, just one week is left for the official release uh, uh, as per me uh, my predictions recently are getting better so uh, as per me i think that uh, we will see the official release in one and a half week uh, in next two weeks all right this is my prediction we will see the official release in next two weeks so anytime in next two weeks we may see the official release so if you are on 14.2 you can wait for some time and then update it peace out and i'll meet you all in the very next episode and you can subscribe because i'm cooking a lot of videos for you all